Hey guys, it's Casey, and today is a very, very big day for me, and that is the day I'm going to be graduating from high school. I can hardly believe it, but I know I'm not the only one out there that's going to be finally getting their way out of high school, so I wanted to share how I'm going to be getting ready for this enormous experience. So I'm going to be starting out with a totally fresh face, no makeup at all, and as you saw, I have really bad under eye circles right now, and so we gotta cover those up. So first I'm just gonna be pulling my hair back, cause that'd be kinda nasty getting all on your makeup. And the only thing I've done so far is put on my moisturizer from Neutrogena, and that's lovely. So to start out, I'm going to be using my Olay Fresh FX uh, BB Cream. And I'm just gonna be putting a teeny tiny bit of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques foundation brush to stipple the product all over my face. So this is my, uh, crap, I forgot to turn on my video light face. So now that I got that on, it's all good. You can see everything that I'm doing a little bit better now. Sorry about that. But anyway, I'm just going to be continuing my stippling of the product all over my face and making sure to blend down my neck so I don't have any weird lines going on. Next, I'm going to be getting rid of those nasty under eye circles by using my Benefit Boing concealer that's designed especially for eyes. It's like the 2.0 Boing thing. I don't know, but it has pink in it and it's really cute. And the pink neutralizes the appearance of your super dark eye circles that give away the fact that you don't sleep. So to continue with that process of concealing things, I'm going to be using my regular Benefit Boing concealer and be going over my under eye circles again to really cover them up and brighten my eyes up. And then I'm going to be going over the places on my face that have some redness, especially on the bridge of my nose where my glasses usually sit. I'm wearing contacts for this big day. So yep, just covering them all up and making me look a little bit more perfect. Next I'm going to be using my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. I'm pretty sure this is either in the lightest shade or it's supposed to be translucent. I don't really know, but I'm going to be taking a big old fluffy brush and putting this all over my face to make sure I don't look shiny and, you know, just to set everything in place. Next I'm going to be using my NYC Mosaic Bronzer thing. I don't know, I like the packaging. And I'm going to be taking my, like, smaller fluffy brush that's meant for, you know, bronzer and blush and stuff. And sorry about this, I was trying to balance that on my nose. I can do that with spoons, but apparently not makeup. <laughs> so put on your best kisses for my little fishes, Trisha Paytas face, and put the product right underneath your cheekbone to really carve out that area to accentuate your pretty cheekbones and to give yourself some nice contouring. So next I'm going to be using my blush, which I know is broken, sorry, I'm clumsy and I drop things. And I'm going to be putting on a big smile since, you know, there's going to be lots of pictures taken today and you just got to practice that stellar, a million dollar smile of yours. And lastly, for my face, I'm going to be using my NYC highlighter mosaic thing and putting that right underneath my eyes along the top of the bridge of my nose and along the areas of my lips and forehead. So that's it for my face, and now I'm going to be moving on to my eyes, starting with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I always was confused about the fact that it had a little mushroom on it, but oh well, it's cute. And now I was pretending that I was going to be like Super Mario and eat it and see if I would get bigger, but you know, it didn't happen. So now I'm going to be taking a teeny little bit of that and putting it all over my eyelid and underneath my eyes as well to make sure my makeup goes nowhere. So to start my eye look for today, I'm going to be using my Naked Basics palette and I'm going to use the shade Foxy as my base color and I'm going to be just applying this all over my eyelid. Next I'm going to be using the shade Faint, which hopefully I don't do while I'm on stage, but I'm going to be actually putting this on the very inner corners of my eye and along the very outside corner of my eye, almost as if you're shading your eyeball and making the very center of it where the light is hitting. I don't know, I saw a look like this on Tumblr and I wanted to recreate it because I thought it looked really pretty. 
I'm also going to be taking this shade and blending it up and around the very top of my eyeball. As you can see, I don't know, it's hard to explain. And to deepen the color of what we just did, I'm going to be using the darkest shade in the palette, which is Crave, and just kind of layering it and blending it over the brown that we just put on to really darken that area up and accentuate the fact that it's kind of a shadow effect and you can feel free to blend that all the way towards the top as well. I went back in with the color faint to make sure it was well blended with the black here. To make this look more dramatic, I also took some of the black and I extended it down below my lower lash line. And finally, to highlight my eyes, I'm using the shade Venus, which has some glitter to it, and I'm going to be putting that all over the center of the lid where we had the lightest shade originally, and then I'm going to be using it to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and along my brow bone. So finally, I'm going to be using the shade Naked 2 and applying this all over where the darkest colors of this look meet the center of my eye where the lightest colors are just to blend everything nicely. Eyebrows can be the most important part of your makeup look, so to make sure mine look on point for today, I'm going to first be brushing them out with my EcoTools eyebrow brush, and then I'm going to apply some of the clear gel from my NYX eyebrow kit little palette thing, which kind of reminds me of a little mouth that can chomp down and sometimes bite me, so be careful. Rose of the finest virtuosos, the cream of every famous band. They were copper bottom timpanies and horse platoons. I am singing this song in the wrong order. I should really know the lyrics. I was in this musical, but oh well. Screw it, I guess. Now I'm going to be taking the darkest shade in that NYX eyebrow palette thing and I'm going to be putting that all over my eyebrows just to fill in the areas where the hair is more sparse. Now for the fun part! Even though I have shaky hands and it can be kind of a challenge, I definitely do enjoy liquid eyeliner because it really makes my eye pop. So today I'm going to be making a bit of a dramatic cat eye for this look because, you know, I just like matching my eye makeup to my YouTube name, I guess, because Reza Kitty, yeah. So you can see my process here, just making small lines and really trying to even it out at the end, just extending a little flick towards my eyebrows to make the cat eye look. And I made them a bit dramatic just because I wanted to stand out. Nothing wrong with that, right? If you thought we were done with eyeliner, you were wrong. Next I'm going to be using my NYX Gel Pencil Eyeliner and extending the black line down below my lower lash line. So if you are familiar at all with my other makeup tutorials, then you will probably already know that I'm a kind of obsessed with using blue eyeliner to really make my blue eyes pop. So I'm going to be taking this and putting it right on the very inner corner of my eyes. And sorry, my headband was really hurting me, so I took it off. And now for another fun part, which is curling my eyelashes. Make sure you put it on your eyelashes, not on your nose like I did. And I'm just going to be applying this to my lashes for something like 5 seconds, not too long. Next I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Butterfly Intensa Mascara to make my eyelashes look as luscious and full as possible because as I've said, I'm pretty bad at using false eyelashes so using a lot of mascara is my only option at this point. Don't act like you don't make weird faces like this too. Because I felt like being extra glowy, I'm going to be using my mini Benefit What's Up highlighter and taking that literally right underneath my eyes on the very top of my cheekbone just to really make that area pop. And I'm also going to be smoothing it out with my middle ring finger, one of those. And I'm also going to be putting a little bit of that around my lips to make them pop. And speaking of lips, now I'm going to be lining them with my Sonia Kasha lip, 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 can't talk, lip liner. It's in a fairly light shade of pink that kind of matches my lips already, but it helps to keep my lipstick in place. The lipstick I'm using is by L'Oreal and it is in the shade 005, which is Pink Sand. And finally, I'm going to be using a Revlon Lip Butter in the shade 047 Pink Lemonade 
to lighten up the very inside of my lips to really accentuate them and make them look full and luscious. Don't mind me, I'm just admiring my work. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I've already straightened my hair, so I got that all done. And so once your hair and makeup is all complete, you can pop on your mortar board thing? I don't know, the weird graduation caps that a lot of people hate, but I'm kind of into. I like the square look. So pop that onto your head, make sure all your hair is in place by keeping some of it in the back and maybe in front of your shoulders, and then aligning the little tassel thing on the left side because you ain't graduated yet. Don't be lying to everybody. I graduated, bitches. Woo. I'm just a little bit excited to be getting out of high school. So here's an overall look at the makeup I did today, from my lips to my eyes, which I'm very happy with. I think it looks really pretty, and I'm excited to be wearing it for all those pictures, because, you know, hopefully I will look back and think, oh, I look nice, not what the heck was I thinking. Ooh, I got attacked by my tassel. And now you can put on the dreaded, unflattering graduation robes. But oh well, at least if you have these awards, you get to show them off to everybody and just be like, look how decorated I am, graduating magna cum laude and stuff. Personally, I'm a member of the National Honor Society and the German National Honor Society, which is why I have these little tassels and stuff. I'm having fun with it. Even though these aren't the most flattering of things to wear, oh well, you can still have fun with it, dancing with those big old sleeves, pretending to be a weird little chicken T-Rex thing. You know. For jewelry, I'm going to be wearing this cute little metal bracelet with a piece of blue sea glass, along with a charm that my Nana gave me that has a little graduation cap on it. It's really cute. And then on my other hand, I'm wearing two simple bracelets that have just some beads and cute little heart charms on them, along with the ring that my boyfriend gave me. <laughs> Bet you thought I was slipping you off, but nah. And in case you're curious, the shoes I'm wearing are my babies, my cute little platform sandals, which I'm obsessed with. So this is my full look for graduation. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me be crazy and get myself ready for hopefully not tripping on stage. If you enjoyed this look, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, or even subscribe. You would make my day. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.